Well, here I am with uh, John. Nice to nice to see you with the, the G4 iBook, man. Good yeah. You. Good. Good. How Try, can, what do you want to talk about? Trying to learn. Oh, everything. Everything. <laughs> I've been doing you a long time, man. I remember the first lesson when I gave you all that shit to do, write a few, analyze Stravinsky. And so I think I was hung over, didn't feel like teaching, so I sent you in the back with two, I figured this guy's gonna be the back there for about three hours <laughs> doing all this stuff I gave you. You were back in 15 minutes and had it all done. I said, whoa, wait a minute, this guy is, is very special. And you know, I've always thought that. Well, wow, thanks, man. When, when you play, people say, who do you, who do you listen to? You're, you're the first guy. Wow. If anybody mentions the alto saxophone, you're, you're the guy. You're the guy that's carrying it. If anybody's going to carry it forward, I believe it's, it's you, man. Wow. <laughs> you, you do some stuff that I've never heard anybody do. And you're, and you're one of the greatest alto saxophone players in the world today, in my opinion. You know? Wow. And I, I, I played with everybody, man. Mm. So I go, I'm going, you know, go right for your God. Right to the right to the core of the matter. You want to talk about? <clears throat> Music, you are one of them. You, you're my one of my heroes, man. Oh, <laughs> no, man. You're pure and you play, man. I'm, I'm not making well, it up or trying to. You know, no, I know. Just because you're giving me a thousand dollars to do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. My goodness, someday I'll be able to tell my grandkids that you. Are you going to actually that. play for them? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Phil. I mean. You know, no, it's from my heart. It's from my heart. No, I, mean, I, I know. I'm so, I'm so delighted you, you've gone high tech and you're in, into the stuff and the, trying to learn. And the artist share, learn. finally getting a chance to have, take complete control of your own recording destiny. Yeah, so that's important. it. Really is. I've and had the everything. copyrights and all of the contractual stuff that has to be done. You are you have the, the mind to get to the core of that. So when you get to be my age, you'll have you know you'll have your annuity man right? yeah hopefully i wish i had known what i know now when i was your age you know what i mean I, yeah sometimes we get so wrapped up in just making music you know and forget about that stuff but, yeah man, i was i signed the contract when i was 24 and it said you want to make records said, yeah sure <laughs> what do we sign? yeah exactly you know? i did the same thing yeah, when i was you know, 27 I mean, yeah that's, that's, that's the way it is but yeah. those days are over we have to Yes, we have to, to take, take control. Of our destiny. And, yeah. You know, and I think with the computer and the, and the, and the internet, especially, and the it's Artist Share program, uh, yeah. Brian Lynch has had Brian Lynch has had a new project with Artist Share, and it's wonderful. Yeah. I, I, was, I, I took part in that. Right. I'm going to do a, a similar thing with my website. Oh, good. I've got a bunch of patrons, and my patrons, uh, my, like a fan club kind of thing. If you pay a little extra bucks, you get discounts and all that, and mm -hmm. many of them are open to come up with $1,000 a piece. For the, they say, we need a new quintet record, so. Beautiful. So anyway, I'm, I'm so so proud of you. I'd say, you know, whenever, whenever your name is mentioned, I say, that's, that's my best, my best uh, student. Oh, man. Well, I mean, you played your ass off last night, too, baby. I'm well, gonna... that's nice of you to say. My God, I, I don't hardly know what to say to all such incredibly overwhelming compliments, but, I, you know, standing on stage with you, I, you know, yesterday on the plane I was putting in a little journal entry for the, for the site about this, just trying to talk about what it's like to stand next to you and play. And one of the things that I said is that I remember Benny Carter saying to me, it might have been on the, the cruise in 94 that when we did the tribute to him, I was talking with him at one point, he said, you know, in my opinion, Phil is the alto player. The way Phil plays the horn is the way that's the way the alto should be played. He is the cat, you know. Yeah. And I said, man, coming from Benny Carter. Well, that's my hero too. Benny. Oh, whoa, well, you know, yeah. Because <clears throat> I, I heard, I heard from somebody else that when my name came up and Benny Carter said, Phil is a great saxophone player, but more importantly, he's a great musician. Right. As are you. Oh, that well. Benny Carter was. I mean, you know, yes. composer, arranger, lyricist, bon vivant, spoke three or four languages, understood food, understood wine. Right. A lot of musicians, especially the younger breed, they realize that you're supposed to be a cultured human being to yes. be an artist. It's an art, man. It's not a business. I mean, we're, we're not. At one point, when it was an entertainment and people were dancing to it, it was you, know, you could make a buck. But, but that was still an art. But it wasn't called an art so much. I mean, it walked that peculiar tightrope between entertainment and art. You know. Right. Now it's relegated to just a, a, like an artistic fossil in many respects. You know, it's mm -hmm. taught in every <laughs> university. But you can't, there's no gigs. I mean, right. there's, there's three gigs and we got 10,000 students, you know what I mean? I know. So, but I knew that when I was 14 years old, that, that 
there would be, have to be some sacrifices. You know? Right. They, 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 but it's not just, you know, if, you, if you want to play with a circus band or be in the pit, that's great. I have no, you know, if you want to be a working musician, that's great. But whenever I do talk to cats, I, I, I talk to them as an artist to artist. You want to be an artist and do something about the world? Yeah. Then you have to know, you have to get, you have to learn something about where other people live, spend some time in yeah. Europe, <clears throat> Japan, whatever, travel, mm -hmm. get used to that, learn at least learn a little bit language and they don't say thank you or mm -hmm. please you know yeah you with all that but you fire got... in the belly too forever that's right any damn fool can be a player when you're 20 30 40 but if any card taught me how, how, how are you going to sound when you're 90. yeah <laughs> that, that's an accomplishment you know yeah. what i mean but all those see I, I was one of the last i'm the last generation to learn at the feet of the masters and that's right master stuff yeah people like art blakey and dizzy and monk and, mm -hmm. and, you know yep. charlie parker Learned so much from, from just hanging out with not hanging, but I mean observing Bird and right. having a few conversations and playing and doing a couple of jam sessions. But I mean, Benny Carter is the personification for me of what an artist is all about. Never made any headlines, no front page, no scandals. Just quietly tilling the vines of his field and you know right. making the best of mine. You know, right? Well read, literate, you know, Mr. Painting. Movie, cinema, right, poetry, yeah. Uh, yeah there's so much Brilliant to guy, it that yeah. you, you just don't get in school. You have to get out and sample it in life. When you're in Paris, go to the Louvre, but also get go to the subway stop and play in the street. Right. <clears throat> Do it all, man. Do it all. Yeah. Dizzy yeah. and Art Blakey kidnapped me one time. I was working at Birdland. I was drinking too much. I was unhappy, and I was yeah. and I was really waddling, and they, they they threw me in a cab. Boo and Diz uh -huh. took me out to Dizzy's house and uh -huh. sat me down and said, Now, what's your problem? I said, Oh, man, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not getting anywhere. I'm playing for strippers and stuff. And, and, and he said, Well, if you cleaned up your act and got yourself together, you might be somebody. Huh. I said, You really you think I could make it, man? <laughs> you know, uh, I'm, a, I'm a white guy. And, you know, it's a, it's a black guy. And Dizzy said, Time out. And put the make the sign of it. Uh -huh. He said, Wait a minute now, wait a minute. And Boo's just sitting there <laughs> nodding his head, but Dizzy was just carrying the ball. Mm -hmm. He said, Charlie Parker didn't write his music. For black people, mm -hmm. he played it for the world. Yeah, it's a gift to everybody in the world from Jolly Parker and Phil. If you can hear it, you can have it. Yeah, and remember, you can't steal a gift. Wow. Um, <laughs> I said, you think I can make it? Yeah, clean up and, and, and get on the right path, man. Wow. I mean, these two icons of, of American music taking time out to straighten out this funky modeling fool, you know? <laughs> but I never forgot that, you know? Yeah. And that's the, all through life, all through our life, we're the only tribe. If somebody comes along and plays better than we do, we don't try to discourage them. Mm -hmm. We try to help them, mm -hmm. you know? Like when Cannonball came to town and Jackie McLean and I both said, oh shit, you know? Right, but yeah. We love them, but you love them, you right. know what I mean? Yeah. What other business, if somebody's threatening your position, are you gonna try to help them? You're gonna try to yeah. get him thrown out of the company, not Take right. your job. Jazz is the is the last of the pure, yeah. pure forms of work, and art, whatever you want to call it. But it, the tribal thing, the sharing, the camaraderie, the honesty between the players. Right. That's that is that's I think we're the last heroes of my book. Ernie Wilkins and Quincy Jones, when the Dizzy's band was in uh, South America, they looked up Via Lobos. Mm -hmm. I don't know who Via Lobos was, but they looked him up. You know, right. I was busy hanging out with. Jam sessions, but they were. I mean, as writers, they were going to the fountain of the source of what their being was. You know? Right. Got to find where your being is, and then find the the fountain of the source that's going to feed that. And and that's what we that's what we do every time we play. And we yeah. meet a new players. They're all yeah. Come on, let's hang, share information, and yeah. that gives you more strength. And, Absolutely. And the tribe is very strong because of that. You know. Yeah. The oral tradition, not so much the book learning part. I mean, we got, you can go to any school in America or now in the world and major in jazz, but it still happens on the bandstand or in the, in the van. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah. You know, talking in the van about what, you, what the tune was, that's where the, the quintet in the early days when we used to drive everywhere, you know. Mm. That's what the word. We never rehearsed, but we talked it over. Right. Yeah. Last night on that shout chorus, let's try and let's and Steve and uh, Bill do this and mm -hmm. uh, Brian and try this and uh, you know. Yeah. 
that's, that's musicianship, you know, you just talk it over and then that night it's still there. It's, it's, it, that's the African part. It's not written down in paper. It's, you gotta absorb it, you know. Like right. Monks said, you gotta hear it. You don't hear it, you know. Yeah. And now the, the toughest part, I have to go pack. <laughs> <laughs> that's another. I, I showed Bill Shalab how to how to pack. You know? Oh really? Oh yeah. Okay. I took his suit coat, you know, and I said, now, Bill, watch carefully. I folded it in half and opened up the collar. Uh -huh. And he with the arms and made a lovely package and then rolled it up in a ball and threw it <laughs> right through the suit. There you go. <laughs> and he just fell on the floor. Yeah, that's how it's always worked for me. <laughs> you know. You know? And, 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 and visually, he just he just fell on the yeah. floor. <laughs> Roll on the ball. And <laughs> yeah, and, and he's quite the clothes mind. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, <laughs> if he'll so, do an invitation next time you see him, ask him to show you so, the Phil Woods method of packing. Oh man, I'll, I'll, I'll have to. <laughs> yeah, get that out. That's, that's for the, for the, for the future. Well, man, I can't, I can't thank you enough for doing this. My pleasure. You, you know what an inspiration as a keep me posted in, in my in my life on so many levels you are to me, and you're just uh, one of the great blessings of my life. I love you. Love you too. All right, baby. All right.